Hey, hi, hello, welcome to another episode of An Anthropologist, where I forgot what the name of my show is. This is my intro music. Welcome to the video. I hope you like it lots, so don't forget to subscribe and click the thumbs up button. Now let's react. Hey, hi, hello, and welcome to another episode of An Anthropologist Watches Amberlynn Read, and today we're watching Emergency Vet Visit, Cook With Me, Let's Go to Target. Log. I I don't know what you want from me. You all know it's a clickbait title, so I, I don't know what you want. Amber posted this two hours ago, and I I'm just re not reacting to it. Uh, I, it's after work. It's after dinner. It's time for bed. You get you get ready for bed, me. So to make up for that, here's a picture of my cat sitting in his tiny chair while he's sleeping, with his little foot sticking out. The actual cat is in the room with my partner, being a butthead by ignoring me. Though, so, that means he's not going to interrupt the recording, so. As normal, I've got her sped up and all that. I've already watched this one through. It's dry as toast, and... I do wonder, though, you know, to toot my own horn and make myself feel important. It's interesting to me that Amber is, like, pushing for 450. I mean, it's a good round number and all that, but, like, did she hear me? I mean, I know she's, like, blocked my channels from being able to comment on hers, but that's okay. She's clearly still watching. So, I haven't had to deal with her sock accounts lately either, so. <laughs> I've been forsaken. So, thank you to everybody who's been watching this channel. Thank you to my subscribers. Thank you to my members. You guys rock. Um, I think we are going to start doing member streams because there's a higher percentage chance now <laughs> that some of you will show up and it will just be me talking to myself. So there you have that. Thank you to everybody who's going to hit the thumbs up button. And I have her sped up to time and a quarter because it's just easier that way. And what else do I need to say? I'm not entirely sure how much anthropology we're really going to get into on this one because it's just kind of dull but i'm gonna try to work some stuff in there i don't know if you guys saw the last video which i promised to do the second half of and just now realize that i never did i guess i can still do that i'll get on that but if you watch that last one that i put out where we're talking about um richard green's uh manipulation uh tactics basically from his book uh, 48 laws of power Highly recommend the book, by the way. Um, I'm listening to mine on audio, but I, there's a good reader too, so I highly recommend that one as well. But all that being said, there's a lot in the intro where he goes over signs of manipulation and types of manipulation that are actually pretty interesting. And there's a lot of that coming off of Amber. And as I said in that video, it's really easy for us here in the audience who are far enough away that we can see the bigger picture much like a great work of art it is meant to be observed from afar so this it's easy for us to see what's going on with amber however it's not as easy for the people around her to see what's going on so oh yeah sorry about my nails too i mean i'm not actually that sorry but i know someone's going to make a comment about it weirdos um so I think I'm going to continue in that thread with this one. And also I want to kind of like get back to the dark anthropology thing, which is about her using all of this as manipulation. So we've only just added to our tool bucket, tool belt. Sure. With adding in the Richard Green stuff. Uh, and if you don't know, that's what anthropology does. We kind of like borrow things from other th places and then go look at this thing that i found ah uh, so yeah <laughs> that's why people are like wow anthropology sounds a lot like sociology and i'm like i think you mean sociology sounds a lot like anthropology but the reality of the situation is is we usually steal from each other so like great artists i don't really think there's anything else to say here before we get started so this one's 15 minutes, so we're back up to our normal length of video. That's a good sign. Okay, so I've got her sped up to time and a quarter because that's pretty much the only way I can get through these. Unfortunately, it does make the video shorter. This one doesn't have a whole lot in it. So, 
let's get going. I got two chips, although I asked for an apple. I think it's funny. I like when she makes fun of herself like this. She's like acknowledging the memes. I just wish she... I just wish when she did make fun of herself like this that she also registers why people were making fun of it, you know? <laughs> welcome back. Okay, you guys, this girly pop... Oh, welcome to vlog, though. Hi. Hi. Okay, this girly pop is hungry. And normally I have eggs and corned beef hatch when I first wake up. I don't know if I've ever been hungry, but I have been hungry before. Yep. But I want something on the lighter side because I am going out with my mom today. And I think we're going to go grab something to eat. And when I do that, I still want to say low calories or near calories. Like, I'm not trying to make any mistakes around here. This yogurt makes no sense to me. The, the whole, this whole thing makes no sense to me. I'm just feeling really good. So we're going to keep it up. Keep up the most. Like. Why does she even have this yogurt? This this yogurt's kind of a bougie thing. At least in my head, it's like a bougie thing. It it's such a weird product for her to even think of buying. I guess. I think one time I think she bought some individual yogurt cups, but they were just like normal yogurt cups. I, and this one is just the only thing I can think is like she's doing. I know she's doing like a high protein, low carb thing, and this is like. Serving size is 15 grams of protein. Or maybe she's doing her whole, like, I don't eat off-brand stuff again. I don't know. But either way, I bet that just changed all of the sound. You adjusted my mic. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know. It's just a weird segment. Momentum. Keep up the motivation. Just the determination. Oh, and by the way, a lot of people are like, oh my god, that cardigan does not fit her. I purposely... Because it doesn't fit you. Honestly, like, hanging over like that, I think it's cute. Well, somebody has to. That's just me. Because it very much does fit. I, I like that there has to be a cut there. Because she had to, like, redress herself in a way to prove that this cardigan does fit. So does it, then? I just don't think that looks as good. But then we, we have, like, <laughs> why am I explaining myself? So I'm not really I don't know. Why? Why are you? Because the more you explain yourself, the more we're going to comment on it, so... Really a yogurt girly pop. I do like frozen yogurt because that tastes like freaking ice cream, let's be real. Because it is? <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's got a yogurt culture in it, but it's mostly the same process. But I wanted to try this Oko's Triple Zero. It has 15 grams of protein. Oko's? It's only 90 calories. It's in the flavor... I don't know how to say the name of this thing either. Oikos? Oikos? Do you even pronounce the I? Oikios? I don't know. I don't know. Greek, right? Well, Greek to me. Banana cream? So this is what I don't understand. She doesn't like bananas. And she says she doesn't like yogurt. So why would you buy banana flavored yogurt? Why are you eating this? I don't understand. What is the purpose of this? Like, I like part of me is like, did someone ask her to do this? Or did like Valentine suggest this as a food? Because she's eaten things that Valentine has suggested before. Is that where this is coming from? Like, where did this yogurt come from? And is it like, is she trying to flex with the brand? Because she does that. Or is she trying to, like, flex with the protein like Anna does? Like, look at all this junk food I eat, but it's protein junk food. Like, is that what's happening here? I don't particularly think this is junk food one way or the other. It's, it's yogurt. I just don't like yogurt. And neither does she. I'm excited to try it. Okay. Smells like yogurt. <laughs> yogurt of course it does all right i'm gonna stir it until it looks good you know what i'm saying what i don't like about yogurt is like that weird sour taste like it's just not for me and i just really yeah that's like the whole point of yogurt i need to go put on my rings before i leave all right so let's try it you gotta watch yourself feed yourself i remember that bitter beer face bitter beer face do you guys remember these yeah it just kind of reminds me of that moment Oh, that's a no. 
Rare Dolls, she loves dairy products, like yogurts, ice creams. You can't have this, my beautiful baby. You know what would be good in this? Like just a couple mini chocolate, uh, like chips or, you know what I'm talking about, like little tiny thingies. Candy? You think candy would be good in it? And like a chocolate chip cookie? What? Mini chocolate, uh, like chips or, you know what I'm talking about, like little tiny thingies and like a chocolate chip cookie? Chocolate chips? You understand they're called chocolate chip cookies because they have chips of chocolate in them, right? We do understand that that's why they're called chocolate chip cookies, right? I, okay, you're right. I don't know what those things are called either. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't like the cat begging for the food is pretty funny, actually. If you like yogurt and you like banana cream, you'll like this. But if you don't, then you're not going to like it. Then why would you buy it? You don't like bananas. You don't like yogurt. Why would you buy it? And then spend like a full minute trying to eat it. Like, who asked for this? Also, you don't need any more purses. Stop it. So currently in Target. Look how cute. I love that. Brace yourselves. Those of you that remember this this clip, it'll come up. Put a. Uh, those of you that remember this clip, put the appropriate colored heart in the comment section down below. The duck lip. No. 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 Not this time, Satan. Hats are not for me. Are they not? <laughs> the things she chooses to not edit out baffle me. I know she wants us to watch her put this necklace on because she thinks it proves something. But you didn't need to keep that in. You could have cut it out. And we know you can cut it out. You've shown us several videos now of your editing skills. I'm currently trying to see if this necklace will even fit around my fat neck. Yeah, I hope so. It's like a 17 inch necklace. I do like it to be shorter though, so. Cool. Did you guys notice that she was looking around like both ways before she tried to put the necklace on? I don't know if she was like looking because there were people there or if she was looking to make sure there weren't people there. It was just kind of weird. And I also don't understand the point of this. I think she's just trying to prove that she's lost weight and she's using this necklace to do it because I'm almost positive she doesn't buy it. So what even was the point? And she didn't like connect it. Like she didn't flip it in place either and then go, la la. She just like strangled herself with it for a moment and was like, ah, I win. I will. Different day. Okay, you guys, so these are all the journals that I have, and I'm about to complete one, so it is time to choose another I'm ASMR. Sorry. So I have done this before with you guys, but this is how I usually choose my journal when I'm just doing it by myself. So I like it. Is it though? Vlog it too, because it's fun. So it's kind of Is it though? I like process of elimination here. So I'm going to get rid of the one that I don't want to use next, and then I'm going to keep the one. Look how dirty her hands are, though. Like, they're just, like, straight dirty. And you know they're dirty because, like, just compare them. <laughs> because of the white in this picture, there's a lot of white in the picture. So, so you know it's not the lighting, I guess, is my point with the white comet. Like, the colors here are very true. It's like, I, I worked all day. And I went to the gym. And I had my cat with me the whole time. Not at the gym. Like, my hands aren't that dirty. I've made dinner. I've cleaned the kitchen. I I've done lots of things today. It's just like... And I only harp on her hands because she puts them in her videos so much. That I do want to use, and the process will go on until I have one left. Yay. Do -do. Intermission music. Do -do 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 -do. Intermission music. Do, do. 
These Isn't are so aesthetic together. Love. Like, tell me that isn't the cutest little setup. I bought this one, like, years ago. Uh, this is one of my newer ones. Intermission music. Intermission music. Intermission music. Jesse. I'm not doing it anymore. Bad woman. All right, it looks like this one won. I've had this one forever. It just says be brilliant. It's like it competed in some way. Were you, were you grading them in some way? Did you really need to do all of that to figure out which one you liked best? I'm so excited to start this new journal. Okay, guys. You're excited for you as well. Congratulations. So I'm worried about Twinkie. So I'm actually about to take her to the emergency vet. So you're not about to take her anywhere. Hopefully you've already called your mom and that's why you're doing this video is because you have the time in between and calling your mom to come get you and her actually arriving to pick you up like that. I hope is what's going on here. But major reason for this is I don't know how many of you remember the the chilies incident. If you do put a chili down in the comment section, but see what I'm doing here. I'm driving up in game. Uh, anyway, so for those of you who are new, uh, Twinkie, this was during the Becky era, Twinkie was acting weird one night, and Amber was like, oh, well, I can't do anything about it. There's no emergency vets around me. And so her and Becky went to Chili's, and they took the dog to the vet, I think, the next day or the day after. I don't remember. But that's where they found out that Twinkie was just old and has bad joints. Um, but because of her, well, there was a lot of problems with her story. First off, there was an emergency vet that was 24 hours that wasn't terribly far from the Chili's that she went to and, and to, she either she didn't know about it or she didn't care because she wasn't taking the dog in, but she made a video kind of like this one. I'm, I'm concerned about Twinkie. Twinkie's acting strange, but I need to eat first kind of a situation. She got a lot of backlash for that one. And I think this is, well, I know this is just trying to counteract that. But here's my thing. My first thought when an animal is in pain is not, oh, let me get my camera out and let everybody know that I'm taking my animal to the vet. And before that happens, let me fluff up my hair and make sure my eye makeup is on and my little, jewel, my little gems are on my face properly. Like... Ma'am, to quote the, the great philosopher, Zachary Michaels. But, like, my thought would not be, here, let me record a message for my vlog. My, my thought would be, where's the cat carrier? Let's get into the car. Do we have to stop for gas? Like, just drive as fast as you humanly can and not get pulled over. You know, not take my time, make a video, fluff my hair, do my makeup. I mean, I get that there's probably... At least I'm hoping what happened is she's called her mom already and she's got time before her mom gets to where she is. And so she was like, to kill time, I'm going to talk to the camera. Because we've talked about this with Destiny. Destiny being in the hospital and how Amber was like vlogging while Destiny was in the hospital. It was in the Mr. Snowflake um, reaction video, if you guys are wondering what the hell I'm talking about. Well, uh, the, for episode, I think, five. Anyway, it, in there, I was saying the conversation Amber's having with the camera in that moment is a conversation that you would have with a friend or a family member. The whole, like, I'm concerned, I'm scared, something's going on, you know, I don't know what's happening kind of a thing. You know, just talk me down from being uh, hysterical, you know, because, like bad things are happening and I have no control over them kind of a thing. That's a conversation that, that we would have with friends or family, you know, a close family member or a close friend. Amber in that moment didn't have either of those things. Like she didn't have many friends and she was on the outs with her family. So she was actually using the camera and thereby the audience, like the amorphous audience as that friend. So in that moment, it seems strange to us that Amber's having this conversation about 
how afraid she is for Destiny and talking about the, the problems Destiny's having, much like you would do, again, with a friend. But so she's having that conversation with the audience because in Amber's mind, in her weird parasocial relationship with the audience that she has, we are her friend. We are that good friend that you call to talk to about your fears and, you know, the situation in general, you know, the, the shoulder to cry on, if you will. I think part of this, part of this clip here is that Amber is trying to make up for the Chili's incident. And the other part of this is she doesn't have anyone else to talk to. She doesn't have anyone else to call and be like, oh my God, my, my animal's in pain. There's nothing I can do. I'm really concerned. You know, she doesn't have anybody else to talk to about this. So once again, she's turning to the audience through the camera to talk to us as you would again with a friend or a family member. This seems a little different because she's got her mother and they're doing well, obviously well enough for her mom to come pick her up. God only knows what time it is. I'm assuming late or else they'd be going to the vet, not the emergency vet. I don't know. She probably uses the emergency vet like she uses the emergency room and probably thinks that's what an actual vet is and not an emergency vet, but whatever. Um, so that's just the point of this, this clip. As annoying as it seems and as in nonsensical as it seems, this is Amber having a conversation with her friend about her concerns of her animal while waiting, hopefully, for her mother to come pick her and the dog up to go to the emergency vet. Okay? That's what I think's happening here. So last night I noticed she didn't want to eat her food. She barely wanted a treat. She's acting lethargic. Like, even minus all that, I can tell when something's wrong with her. Usually that's usually my first sign that there's something seriously wrong is when they stop eating. If they, if they forego food, something's wrong. Something's really wrong. It's because she has really bad joints because she is a very small dog. And she is older, so she takes medicine for it. So usually when that happens, it's just like... Amber doesn't like medicine. She has medicine anxiety. And has bragged about how she doesn't take medication. Who wants to put money on... The dog doesn't get her medication when she needs it. I can't recall her ever showing us her giving the dog its pill. So it's very easy to speculate that the animal it does not receive medication when it is needed. Simply because Amber herself does not take her own medication. Instead of her doing everything by herself, I'll like literally carry her. I just baby her more than usual. But I Okay, so Body language wise, that one section, the I just baby her more than usual. She goes into both of her deception zones. But for the rest of this conversation that she's having, she stays out of her deception zones for the most part. Like there's a few times and I don't think she's necessarily being deceptive in those moments. I think she's recalling things. So I th through most of this closet conversation that we're having again, we're in the closet. Um, she's being honest and it's really kind of interesting to watch because we don't get a lot of times like this where she's not making shit up. I noticed, oh, it's actually not her joints this time. She's not limping. She's not like having her typical symptoms. So what I do is I gently touch all over her body. I look around her body. A vet actually told me to do this years ago. That if you notice something's wrong with your dog, sometimes there is like a painful something on them. So if you gently, I mean gently, just like feel around them, pet them. So that's what I was doing. Doing me and Twinkie were just like cuddling, and it was like nothing on her body. Like she was fine, but I could tell something was wrong. So then I looked more like in depth on her face. So like under her mouth, there's like a lot of swelling, and I'm like, that's not normal. But it's like in a way that you can only see it if you're like looking at it from like under. When I notice that, you know, my first response is to, okay, baby girl, let me gently and calmly open your mouth. Like she didn't want me anywhere near it. So this could be anything. A tooth problem but it could be a jaw problem my brain goes to like is it a tumor That's i know she's like going over in this yeah well, i mean she's she's dipping over here a lot but you'll notice when she is dipping she's recalling her actions at the time i don't think she's being deceptive i think she's just recalling these things for the most part though her eyes stay relatively within the right area 
within the area that you would expect someone's eyes to go around when they're recalling something or telling you something. It's very refreshing to see honesty, but it also is a really great way to get a baseline so that when I'm like, oh, she's in her deceptive zone, it makes more sense because because we don't have this baseline very often. <laughs> Uh, That's just where my brain is going. So I'm going to take her to the emergency vet. I'm very nervous. She is my heart and soul. Um, so that's what I'm doing. And my mom's actually going to take me. So I appreciate her so freaking much. Proof that we're at the vet. It's okay, baby. It's okay. Like okay, guys. Kid. So as soon as they saw Twinkie, they said, I think it's an abscess. So the vet gave me the option to sedate her. And so they can do like a more thorough look just to make sure it's not something worse or whatever. So they gave me that option and I said, uh, yeah, please. <laughs> so here's the thing is, is with older animals, they're usually really hesitant to use anesthesia on them because they're older animals. So oftentimes they'll be like, hey, we really need to do this, but your cat's ancient. Because I had a 19 year old cat. Uh, he was 19 at the time, had abscesses. They were like, we really need to do this thing, but he's like old. I was like, yeah, I guess. I mean, it would suck, but I mean, otherwise it's going to be a really painful decline. So, so that's probably why they were asking about it and not just saying, hey, we need to do X as opposed to, hey, we need to do this, but it's just because the dog's very old. This Twinkie, after being sedated, this was in the back of my mom's car. She was out of it, you guys, that poor little baby. But the outcome is she has an abscess and she might have to get her tooth surgically removed. And that just breaks my heart for her. Like she was so out of it. Look at her. Now she's on antibiotics and a painkiller. And she's just my little baby. And I just feel absolutely horrible for her. But it is two days into the future. So hello. She is doing Hi. so much better. The swelling is down. And she's acting like herself again. She's not acting like she's in pain. She's happy again. She's a sleeping dog and a sleeping kid. This is a picture. So tomorrow, which is Monday, I will be calling to make an appointment to get her teeth either surgically cleaned or she might have to have it removed, which is very, very sad. So it is the next day after I just filmed that voiceover. Twinkie is doing so much better. Hi, baby girl. Yeah, she's just resting right now because we just came back inside from going for a walk. Not to be a dick. I don't think you guys walk hard enough for that dog to be worn out after one of your walks. She needs to rest. See, this is what I'm talking about in her deceptive zones here. Um, I had someone contact me today on Instagram saying, like, are you okay? I heard there's tornadoes in Oklahoma right now. And I'm just like, um, uh, no. I didn't know that there was. And now I'm scared. It was sprinkling a little bit when we went out there. But I mean, the weather's fine. But Oklahoma. Well, you know that annoying siren that goes off that you made sure to let us know that you hate because it annoys you? Yeah, if you hear that thing, probably that means there's a tornado coming if it's not when they test that alarm. Just letting you know that's how those work is known for the tornadoes so i'm a little scared i also want to give an update on my little like weight loss challenge as you guys know i wanted to reach 450 which would be another 50 pounds lost and i just kind of wanted to count see how long it took me so today is day seven and i weighed in at 493.6 sorry i just wanted to be like her 450 mark don't get me wrong it's a nice round number you know she made it to the 499 450 makes logical sense right i'm just wondering because i'm the one who was like if she can make it to 450 by mid-march you know i just wonder if like she was watching me i'm sure i'm not the only person who suggested such a thing but it's like she's banned me twice now so um clearly she knows who i am so today is day seven and I weighed in at 493.6. So I'm going, I'm trucking along. I have not gone over my calories in a week, which is so crazy for me because like I am not really that girly pop lately. Like I haven't successfully counted calories like in a hot minute to be honest. Ever. Ever. She's been doing this for a week though. You know, if she really has been doing this for a week, um, that's the longest I think she's ever done anything. 
I feel like she did something for two weeks. I don't remember what it was, though. But still, it's if she really has been doing this for a week, that's the longest she's done something that I can remember of. That's even longer than she did Weight Watchers last time. Honest, I just really want to be aware of what I'm putting in my mouth. Because if I didn't do that, it's like a few hundred calories here, a couple hundred calories there. Like, it all adds up in the end. Yes, that's how calories work. And I don't show progress when I allow myself to have those extra calories here and there and there and there. So Because you're not making progress when you eat a thousand calories worth of snacks from your snack box. But it's just really good to stay under my goal. I'm actually about to go make lunch right now. So let's go do that. Okay, okay so I'm about to put some salmon. I'm about to cremate some salmon. In the air fryer, I just seasoned it with some garlic salt and a little bit of pepper. I'm also having Caesar salad. So it is a salad kit, which this is delicious. There is three servings in it. So for the salmon and for the salad, it is kind of high calorie. It's 700 calories, but it's gonna keep me full for a while. Okay, so while the salmon is cooking, which is almost done, I'm gonna make the salad. So in total for this whole meal, it is 770. We have obviously the lettuce. And then we have the secret. Also, the secret to making this lower calories, don't use the whole packet of salad dressing. Because that's where all the calories are. The salad dressing and the cheese. These are dressing. I'm going to use these tongs. Next, we have some Parmesan cheese. Is that just ice cream? It really does look like it's just ice cream. Maybe it's romaine. package i guess if it's romaine that's somewhat better but the whole point of my rant is is you could have a multi-vegetable salad and put caesar dressing and parmesan on it and it's still caesar salad and then instead of croutons they give like crouton crumbles which i think i prefer if i'm being honest especially once this is all mixed together And I do like to add some black pepper on top. Look how delicious that looks. Yeah, I guess. I like Caesar dressing. It's like my favorite dressing. So I'll, I'll have some of that on my salads every once in a while. But like, I, I'm the, I use the dip method. Like, you know, you dip your fork or you dip the bite that you have on your fork into the salad dressing so that you don't do this and dump the dressing on it. However, a traditional preparation of a Caesar salad is dress the salad. So. All right, so here is my lunch, a salad and salmon. I do have a lot of salad left, actually. All right, so here is my lunch. I'm actually pretty hungry right now. Gotta watch yourself mm. eat. This brand, I promise you, the best salad ever. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Like, she, she, she was trying not to, actually. She, she was definitely trying not to look at herself, but even then, she had that real quick moment where she looked over. See if I can find it. She can't not watch herself eat. Like, she was even trying to hear. And she still has this moment where she's just like, is the fork in my mouth? Kind of a thing. All right, let's try the salmon. I do eat the middle first. I don't know why. Literally, no one else on the planet cuts their salmon in half and eats the eats the middle first. It is cooked perfectly. Mm. Ten out of ten. Just the way I like it. Eighty four and twenty. All right, you guys. So, feeling. How are you? I have missed you so much. Did you get my letters? I sent one every day. Papa does not agree with this arrangement, but I just missed you so much. Papa. I'm gonna be weighing in. Um, day my ceiling will come. Hello. <laughs> Stepping on. I figured I would record this one for you guys. Oh my god, we saw her forehead. 492. <gasps> I'm almost in the 480s. I can see that happening in the next like three to four days and I'm super excited for that. I just realized that it's 3, 3, 3 o'clock. If that's AM, that's the devil's hour. That is a good sign if you guys
Is it a.m. or p.m.? Actually, I even think in the afternoon it's still considered like the devil's hour, is it? Y'all Catholics correct me on that. There's no, you know. So we're currently in my bathroom because I need to clean out this. What is happening, Amberlynn? And it doesn't stop there. Wow. We're not going to talk about my the shelves in my bathroom. So yeah, I just, I really need to clean this out. Like this is looking crazy. My mom took a shower here like two months ago, stayed the night. So there's still some of her things in here. And I'm just like, bro, I have not cleaned this in forever. So it is time that I do so. I actually recently got some new um, like gentle floss. So I'm excited to try this brand. Plus, you know what called out to me? The color of this bag. If that's all it takes for you to do proper mental hygiene, I think we can work with that. This is good stuff. I used to use this stuff a lot. Something that has greatly helped my hair recently is Garnier Fructi Sleek and Shine Anti-Frizz Serum. Definitely recommend. If you guys have super dry skin. I don't mean to be mean, Amber, but you're the last person I'm going to take advice for the uh, self-care products from. I, I don't mean to be mean. I mean, yes, all of the products she's showing you are good products. I don't know about the tooth glossy thing, but Cetaphil is pretty well known for being good for what it does and you know garnier does really good products for your hair so like her recommending these already popular brands i i don't get it but also it could also just be a flex this is her flexing that she's buying these like name brand uh middle ground products and look look i'm taking care of my hair i bought one product that i'm taking care of my hair with and like why do you have so much moisturizing but the body stuff very dry to dry some i don't know the Cetaphil uh, moisturizing cream, very to dry to dry some also isn't this the same one that she bought the soap for and was using it like lotion <laughs> of skin also recommend this so i usually use dry shampoo but i actually stopped using it about two weeks ago so i'm gonna throw this away thank you for informing us so i have a bunch of these little i do think this is cute uh sampler like perfumes i know i have some like louis vuitton up in here a subscriber actually sent to me and i have them in this like q-tip container i just that's a weird cut got some louis vuitton up in here hard cut a subscriber sent to me Valentine sent to me? Did she cut out the name? I thought it was a cute idea, so I could just grab it like that and I don't know. It's cute. I, I do think I literally want to almost get rid of my straightener so I'm not tempted. I've actually had this straightener for easily a decade. So I got the top one all clean. I mean, you probably need to replace it anyway, to be honest. I don't know. Some people who are better with your hair things, let me know. I've had one for five years now. I don't use it very often, so it's probably okay, but I assume that you have to change these things out occasionally. Cleared out, and then I was working on the bottom and realized one of my Bath and Body Works leaked a lot. All right, you guys, so. That's a, mm. So the bottom first, still looks a little cluttered, Aww. but it looks a lot better actually. And then this one is just like amazing Aww. now. I just have a very bad habit of keeping everything clean, but then when you open a drawer, it's like, whoa, that's a mess. So again, we're not going to talk about the shelves in my bathroom. If I was to use my sweetheart cherry body spray, instead of putting it back where it belongs, I would just go. And then if you do that with everything, eventually it starts to look very messy. I feel called out. All right, you guys, I just rinsed some fresh green beans. I, I do love canned green beans. I'm not going to lie, but I wanted to make some like... Asian inspired green beans. So I'm about to do that, season these, cook these down real good. I'm probably gonna have some rice and some salmon as well. Okay, so I added soy sauce, minced garlic, sriracha, some pepper, and right now um, it's. So, what part of that makes it Asian inspired? Is it the soy sauce, which I'm probably, or is it the sriracha? Which one of those is what's making this an Asian-inspired dish? Just in some water. Because I am counting calories. I do want to cook these down, like, a lot. Like, I want them to be skinny, shriveled, flimsy. Like, that's my goal. So, once I get there, if I need any oil, then I'll add some. But as of right now, like, using water for this is totally fine. All right. What is her aversion to oil? 
of all the things on the planet that she's always been pretty steadfast about avoiding, oil has been one of them. Like, she will not cook with oil. The f- and the few times that she has, she's gotten backlash for it, which I think is just... But anyway, like, I don't, I don't get it. It's just such a weird thing for her. Like, it's, it's a weirdly health-conscious thing for her to do. Because in the same time, she'll oversalt the food. You know, she'll... She oversalts it, she'll eat a shit ton of sugar, you know, she'll do everything except cook with oil. I don't get it. You guys, so it is finished. I did add some sesame seeds to the top of... Is that what makes it Asian-inspired? The soy sauce, the sriracha, and the sesame seeds? Sesame seeds? The green beans they came out exactly how i wanted them to and then of course my typical salmon that i love making in the air fryer and then that is some rice that i cooked in my rice cooker hey what did we learn <laughs> what have we learned uh we learned that amber learned from the twinkie uh for the from the tw- chilies incident as i continue to refer to it um i i still stand by Partially that was, hey, look, I'm a good pet owner. And the other part of that was her talking to the audience as her friend again. Um, like, like I said, my first concern would not be to set up a camera, fluff up my hair and address the audience. But I wouldn't. I can't say that I wouldn't have called like my best friend in a panic while I'm on my way to the vet kind of a thing. So or while I'm at the vet waiting to hear what's going to happen with the animal kind of a thing. So I think that's also part of it. I don't think it's the whole part of it. I think it's part of it. Pretty much. Pretty much the most important thing that came out of this. Her weigh-ins. I know people are convinced she's faking them. I don't know if she's down to 192.2. She's doing pretty good. So I I think what did she say her calorie cap was at like eighteen or seventeen hundred or something like that. It's way, 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 way too low, in my opinion, but for her. But like it seems to be working. And I mean, going back to six hundred pound life, Doctor now puts most of his patients on a twelve hundred calorie diet. I don't think he means for them to stay on twelve hundred calories for like the rest of their life, but he wants them to lose as much weight as quickly as possible. And I mean, they do when they stick to the diet, they lose like hundred, hundred, sometimes 150 pounds in a month. So if she really has cut her calories back that hard and she's staying within her calorie budget, uh, yeah, I mean, she's dropping weight pretty fast. So So there's that. And that's pretty much all I've got. The rest of it was just typical Amber stuff with no we got we got an organization clip we got hair talk we got what was she doing before the rest of that oh a a food tasting which makes no sense uh i'm struggling to remember what happened i just watched this is like the third time i've watched this video what happened again all right I don't really have a whole lot to say that I didn't say already, so I don't really have much to recap here. So I'm just going to say thank you to everybody who's been supporting the channel. Thank you to my subscribers. Thank you to my members. You guys rock. Thank you to everybody who's going to hit the thumbs up button. And yeah. Oh, uh, let's see. For our emoji. Do they have potato chips as an emoji? If they've got potato chips for an emoji, go ahead and put that in. If not, just put a potato. Because potatoes are always funny. And yeah, I will see everybody in the next one. Bye! This is my outro music. You can't copyright strike me because it's just me singing. This is my outro music. Thank you for watching. See you next time.